Hello, colleagues, friends, and students. Uh, this is Dr. Satish Singhal, PhD from Computer Information Technology, Rose State College, Midwest City, Oklahoma. Uh, I did a video on data types on vb.net. If you don't know anything about uh, data types, please watch that first. And in this one, I'm going to do a rectangle program. Uh, in this video, I'll do this using a command line uh, vb.net program. Second one, I might do it through the Windows application or graphical user interface application. So really, in this series, we are talking about three videos that in the first one, you learn about data types. Second one, this one, you will learn about how to do rectangle program uh, using the command line environment vb.net and the third one using the graphical user interface okay so that's the plan here so we'll go to vb.net and I'm using a express edition but that doesn't really matter uh, so I'm going to create file new project and make sure Visual Basic is selected and then console application. And some of you, if you're reading some old VB books, they never talk about console application, which personally to me that doesn't really make any sense because VB.net is as good as Java. You could do console or Windows application. So I'm going to show you both. And I'm just going to just maybe put here a rectangle console application and delete that and say OK. So this can be a little slow but it will work. So it's building my project and okay. and it will have this module here. All right. And actually I could probably bump up font just a little bit uh, so people can see it so and and the line numbers both so fonts could be bumped up here okay. it's a little slow but it will work options not responding okay so looks like I'm gonna have to I oh, actually thank God it's responding now so I'm gonna bump to size 13 bold and that's the only change. Actually, the other thing is that line numbers. So I go to text editor, basic, check mark here, got the line number. Okay, good. A little better. Okay. So one thing that I have said before that two things that should be there in every VB program that you do set two options option, strict on and second option explicit on that's so that vb6 hack does not get into our programs okay so I'm gonna use the commenting to describe uh, rectangle program takes data input for length and width computes perimeter and area and prints all data from there. Okay. So since I cannot force all the rectangles in the world to be having length and width in round numbers, the data type would be 
double type. This fact is very important. Doesn't register to some people, but uh, integer is a bad, bad, bad choice. You can't, you can't really do that. You're not allowed to do that. Okay. So I'm gonna declare length and width. So Tim <coughs> length equal to 0, 0.0. And as soon as I do that, length is set to be a double type. Tim width equal to 0, 0 0.0, same thing. Double type because I can't force it to be a round number. So now the input. So in command line, input is done that first we prompt the user to enter the data. And then we use a method called console.readLine to read the data. So first we'll uh, prompt them, console.writeLine is used to prompt, <coughs> enter length of rectangle. I'm a bad typist, so there might be some typing error. Okay, so there is a method in the console class called read line that reads the whole line, but then since these are numeric quantities, they have to be parsed. So the code for reading and parsing at the same time, I'm gonna combine two of them into one line. So I'll have length equals integer dot parse. And console.readLine will actually read from the console. You could do that in two lines, but I'm just going to be short here and just do it in one line. And sometimes, if you are concerned that user might put a leading or lagging white space before they type the length of the rectangle, you could do something called a trim here to throw away the leading and lagging white space. So this really, this is the best code that you can do to get the dimensions of the triangle. Oh, I'm sorry, this is not integer, it's double type, so let's do double. Okay, sorry about that. Double type, so we'll do double parse. Oh, that was bad, okay. So same way we can get input for the width. So I'm just really gonna copy and paste that and just change the type so enter width and this is width okay now the perimeter of a now I need to collect the formula so perimeter is simply equals twice of you take the sum of length and width. That's one formula I'm going to be using. And the area is actually very simple. Area e is equal to length multiplied by width. And if you want to see these operators, how they work, but whatever textbook you're using, they will be describing them. And you can look at them the asterisk is for multiplication plus is for adding and so on. Okay, so I'm just gonna, since I already have the length and the width, length and the width, I'm just gonna apply this formula for the computation. So my perimeter, dim has to be used. Perimeter is simply, I'm actually That's my perimeter, and then area, same way, equal to, and I'll just gonna use this one. Good, so I got the perimeter and the area. So now I can just print everything, length, width, 
perimeter and area uh, to the console. And that's done by console right line. So console <coughs> dot right line length of rectangle. Strings are concatenated in VB by using the ampere send operator. And let's say I want to format everything to two decimal point. So I'll take the length and I can do something called a two string to format it to two decimal uh, place. So if I say length dot two string in the parentheses I have n2 in the quotes, that means take the length and format the decimal part to two decimal point. Really, that's all it is. And I can quickly make copies of this and print the other things exactly the same way. So width of rectangle. Then I can do the same thing for the perimeter, perimeter rectangle, it's perimeter, and then the area. Okay. Always include a goodbye in your program so that we know that it ended. And so now we just run it uh, for a couple of values. Actually, I'll just run it with one, one set of values. You can actually retype this program and run it with as many values as you like. You can actually take area of your house your land plot and run it with that. Okay. So compiling and one succeeded, no compile errors. Control F5. So length, let's say 90.1, width, let's say 100.2, and there you go. So it printed the length of the rectangle to point one zero to two decimal points with hundred point two zero once again to two decimal point so perimeter of that would be perimeter of a rectangle of length ninety point one zero with hundred point two zero will be three eighty point six zero and area of such a rectangle will be nine thousand twenty eight point zero two uh, if it's in feet, then all the dimensions will be in feet. If it's in meter, all the dimensions will be in meter, and so on. So I do have a few minutes here, so I'm going to mark and go. I might give you this code, I'm not sure. But it's actually pretty easy to do this. So let's do that. And I'm going to just paste it right here. And I can just kind of highlight that. Oh, this will be the comment area. Okay, so that's this program shows you use of the data type in realistic sense, declaration of the variable, and the data type, and data input using console.read line and then data output with the decimal formatting, okay? Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video where I'll do the same thing using Windows application or graphical user interface. Thanks again.